This guy would de definitely should not be <laughs> back here under the engines. What is up guys, it's James from Fish Steaks and we're back on Flight Sim. Today I wanted to take a little bit of a look at one of the aircraft available on the Flight Sim marketplace for both Xbox and PC versions. The aircraft in question that we're looking at today is the DC Designs Concorde. It's currently $27.99 on the marketplace, that's in pounds, so you might need to convert that if you're not in the UK. And what I want to do is talk a little bit today about that price, what that entails, what you actually get with the aircraft and whether I think it's worth it or not. So off the bat, before we actually jump into the aircraft, I just want to say it does come out of the bag with four different libraries. That includes the British Airways 1985-87, to British Airways 97-03, to Air France 76-03, to and Singapore Airlines as well. We're currently got the uh, British Airways 85 to 87 library on for today's uh, demonstration, we can call it. Um, but just to make you aware, yeah, I've got four different options there, which I think is pretty cool because library packs themselves are fairly expensive if you're not playing on PC. Um, but without further ado, let's jump in and start taking a look at what we actually get for our money. So the first thing I want to say is from the outside, I think it's a great looking aircraft. I don't think it looks any worse than the base model aircrafts in the game from Microsoft. As you can see, it's got a fully reflective surface. You can actually see the reflection of things around it, skybox, everything like that on the aircraft itself. So it fits right into the Microsoft sim world, I believe. Yep, you can just see there on the windows as well. Windows also reflective. So a great looking aircraft overall from the outside. By the way, I think the Concorde's design just as a side is, is great, which is the reason why I bought this. I really wanted to... Have a go at flying a Concorde. They are an awesome looking plane. We've got the jets here at the back. And you can see really good texture there on that tail wing as well. So once we're inside, there is a couple of things I'd like to address. But before I do that, I just want to read a little bit from DC Designs themselves, just about what they state comes with this aircraft. Truly 3D flight deck featuring virtually every switch, dial, knob, gauge from the real Concorde. Instruments constructed in 3D with smooth animations. Fully modelled forward passenger cabin with working doors and custom passenger sounds. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Interactive points for ground crew operations such as jetway, fuel truck, power truck, baggage loading and catering truck. I've not actually seen that so I will take a look at that in this video and we can see what they mean by that. And it does feature crew fe crew figures in the cockpit if you have that turned on. I currently don't. So, first of all, if we take a look at the cockpit, there are a couple of things I want to point out. For me, I think there aren't many downsides to this aircraft. But one of them is in the cockpit for me, unfortunately, which is I know where you're going to spend most of your time. But it is only a slight downside. For me, I don't think this is up to the level of um, graphic fidelity, shall we say of the aircraft that Microsoft, uh, you know, what comes boxed with the game. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like At the end of the day, this is a sim. And the most important thing is that all of these dials and things work and that the, the aircraft operates as close to real life as possible, which I think it does a great job of. We'll discuss in a minute. But I do just want to say, you know, it's it can be slightly lackluster when you first load in. Um, but outside, as I said, outside the aircraft looks great. And inside, it's not particularly bad. It's just something that I noticed was like, I don't think it's quite up to scratch. Moving away from how it looks, let's talk about how it performs. So first of all, um, if you've never flown in a Concorde, which I would imagine most people have not, um, one of the reasons I downloaded this Concorde was because it's a plane that I've always sort of had an interest in. Um, I thought it was really cool, you know, when I was younger, growing up, and you see it in the news and stuff. I never, ever got an opportunity to go on one. I imagine most people didn't. So for me, when I seen this pop up on the marketplace, I was like, I've got to get this um, just for the experience of flying in a Concorde. So first of all, the cockpit, it's really, really well fleshed out, as you can see. If you don't already know, the, the Concorde itself is normally a three-man job. Um, you have your two pilot seats there, pilot, co-pilot, and the engineer seat here. As I said, this could be pretty overwhelming because there is a lot of switches, a lot of dials, and probably the best thing about this um, aircraft itself is that so much of this is interactable. So much of these switches, you can see here as they highlight blue as we go across them, like so much of this is it is interactable it's unbelievable you know this is the engineer's seat here um 
because of that it can be quite overwhelming we've got some notes to help out around there's quite a, a few easter eggs as well that i really like on this aircraft i think it, i think it is really well done in terms of the level of detail they've put in the amount of switches that actually work what is this book down here event horizon very nice i do think the level of detail is very good and the amount of switches and dials that actually work it's it's almost overwhelming right but of course that's what you want from a sim because we can sit and we can learn how to fly these now one thing i want to point out is if you guys are interested in tutorials for the concord i'd be willing to make them i'm just i just like to know in the comments if you can let me know in the comments whether you'd like to see tutorials for it with it being a dlc plane and it is 27.99 it's quite pricey i'm not sure how many people own this concord and whether or not they'd be interested even in seeing tutorials but i will say with the amount of interactability and the level of difficulty of a concord i think this sim this model particularly for microsoft flight simulator i think it's a little easier than some of the others like x-plane models and stuff like that that i've seen uh, to get to grips with but it's also got enough going on that you're gonna be satisfied if you if you're you know really into your sims some of these planes that have the more complicated procedures for takeoff and stuff like that they can be really fun to sort of learn and figure out as you go one thing i do want to point out actually is if you do download this aircraft it does come with a dc designs concord operations manual which is a full pdf it's 107 pages, but all the details you would ever need are in there in order to, to figure this plane out and fly it. I will leave a link to that in the description uh, of this video. So if you do download it, you can take a look at that. Or I would suggest take a look at it now and have a quick fly through. And if you feel like it's a bit too complicated for you, you know at least not to buy it. Because I don't want someone to drop 27 99 on this plane and then, you know, be completely overwhelmed and never actually get any use out of it. Because that would be a shame. If we, if we say that like the 747 is a 10 out of 10, the one that comes with the game, because um, I think that looks great personally, and the A320, both 10 out of 10s. I'm going to give this like an 8 out of 7 for looks inside because I do think it could be a little bit better when you consider how well they've actually done the outside of the plane. I think they could have given it a little bit more polish inside. Functionality though is definitely 10 out of 10. The actual amount of stuff you can do in this cockpit, the fact that they've got the engineer seat there with all the switches and dials and they all work as well unbelievable and a lot of fun to be had trying to figure out what everything does but there are more features to this plane than just the cockpit as you probably already know the game the aircraft that come with the base game your a320s your 747s and stuff like that normally they just have the cockpit fleshed out and that's it bonus with this plane is that if we actually come down you can see here the cabin door is shut but if we come down to the bottom of the engineer seat here cabin door switch and currently says locked if we just hit that to unlock you can see the cabin door has been unlocked now i am free moving about this plane if you don't know how to do that we have a video on it already so the link is in the description but let's go through to the cabin and as you can see this whole plane has been fleshed out and this is where i really start to enjoy this model right because they they have put on hell of a lot of work into it so we've got the instructions on the doors we've got all the warning signs even for the fire extinguisher here i love all of these little details that just make it um you know that much better we've got the concord logo there even from the the bottles of wine as well as we come through i assume these would have been the toilets i've never been on a concord in real life but you would presume those are the toilets and one cool thing you'll already know if you've watched my videos is we can set up custom cameras here Oh, we've got another book there as well, Altitude. You can set up custom cameras in any of these seats. And if we did so, we'd be able to get an idea of what it would feel like to be flying as a passenger in one of these Concords, which I really, really like. Now, I believe once you're up in the air, you can actually hear ambiance in this cabin of, like, passengers as if they were on the plane, talking, chattering away, drinking, whatever else like that, I believe is a feature. I'm sure I've heard it before. We'll take a look in a little bit, but... I did just want to show off that that's all fleshed out. And again, you've even got the reflective surfaces here on these doors, which I really like. Just gives it that little bit more sense of realism. This does work with the VR headset, so it could feel really, really cool to come and uh, take a walk through the Concorde. We'll come back through here to the cockpit because one thing I did want to look at was they mentioned it had interactive points for ground crew operations such as jetway, fuel truck, power truck, and baggage loading. I believe we can get most of those, but not the jetway at the current uh, parking. Where we're right now so i'm gonna try 
and bring in one of the ground crews and see exactly what they mean by that. I'm assuming they mean that it will actually come up and interact with the aircraft rather than just stop by it because they've put those points in. So let's take a look. So I am just starting up the systems right now so that I can contact um, ATC. Obviously, I've done this the hot key way rather than firing up myself. You can see we've now got our pilot model in, um, which they, would, they were talking about earlier. Speed and altitude and outside temperature and stuff like that here for the passengers. That's pretty cool. Just jump on the drone so I can get a better look, see if anything actually happens. Oh, they have opened up the baggage door. Sorry, it's very loud because the engines are on, though. This guy would de definitely should not be <laughs> back here under the engines. Just pretend this isn't happening. I'm just curious to see if it actually like interacts with the baggage at all or whether it's just that door opening. Can we get an F in the chat for this man <laughs> sat under the engines of a Concorde? <laughs> Okay, he's lining it up. Oh, and here's the baggage. Okay, this is really cool. Doesn't look like it's going to go right in. They're probably just going to disappear off the end of this, right? Yeah. Well, you know what? I'll say fair enough because they've basically got the base model um, baggage handlers and stuff like that that comes with the game to work and interact with the Concorde itself, which I do think is pretty cool yes it doesn't line up perfectly but you know what you can't ask for much more can you with a when they're using the base game systems microsoft have put in and it, having it interact with a downloadable plane so fair play to them because i'll tell you this i've seen some downloadable planes where it just doesn't interact at all they'll just like whatever ground services you call will just sort of come up to the plane stop and then go away again basically and the process has happened okay here comes our catering truck under the wing and straight through the wing we'd love to see it but you know if it does stop and interact properly then i'm still gonna say fair play yeah yeah we got the door open i'm not sure what will happen from here if anything little bit of a collision don't worry about that all right all right look at this i love that this is so well animated like i actually genuinely do yes look at this i love it so we can actually hop back into the plane and you can see all that interaction in real time that's great i do like that they've done that because once again as you know it it's just only going to add to the level of sim if you are a big simmer you know what i mean but listen we're not here to see catering trucks and it's not baggage simulator so we do want to see this thing in the air so let's get this thing in the air slot into my pilot seat right here what a view by the way from the concord again never been on one in real life was not aware of just how sort of bad of a, a field of view they actually had from these things crazy but fair play to those concord pilots okay guys here we are in the air in the concord and I'm already smiling because actually I just love this plane. It's so damn cool. Look at this man. Look at this view. It's so cool. It's such a cool plane. Let's be honest. Wow. It's brilliant. Let's get an outside view. Look at this thing, man. Look at the trails as well. That oh, beautiful, beautiful plane. Dude, why did they get rid of the Concorde? I know. I mean, I know why they got rid of the Concorde, but what a plane. What a view as well. This game is spectacular. Right, one thing that I want to do is just check on that cabin because... By the way, I know the cabin switch is down here and if you want to be super, you know... Super simulator about it, you can open the doors, but... You can also just totally walk through this door. Ah, here we go. You can start to hear it already, the ambience. I like that. That's a nice touch, especially if you set up, we got a wine there, especially if you set up a cam inside. The windows were so small on the Concorde, like no one was seeing out of them. I imagine your head would be like right here, right? You'd just be like looking at the sky the whole time. I like that ambient sound, that's a nice touch. It really is, and the, obviously the information that the, the passengers get to see here, very cool, very cool. 
I was, trying, I was wondering if you could get in the toilet there just to see what it was like. Apparently, I cannot. Do any of these open the toilet? Uh, oh my god! Dude, the freaking toilet's open! Holy crap. That's amazing. I can't believe the toilet's open. That's unbelievable. No! <laughs> the toilet itself! The, the actual lid lifter. Wow. Do you know what? Fair play. To the level of detail on this plane is fantastic. I can't call the crew though. No smoking sign. Please leave this facility as you wish to find it. They, that is great, isn't it? Isn't that great? Such a little thing. It's only that one bad looks of it, but that is enough. I mean, yeah. I really like that. Just those little things really make it, you know? Wow, I think I might have messed us up trying to get in the toilet there. Let me just get back to the pilot seat. Because we're not on autopilot or anything. I literally just got out the seat and went in the toilet. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What are we doing? What are we doing here, boys? What have you been doing? She's had a bit too much of that wine. Wow, but what an unbelievable plane. So, basically, right? Let's get to the meat and drink a bit. Do I think it's worth it? Twenty-seven ninety-nine. I think twenty-seven ninety-nine is quite pricey. You know, you could buy two. You know, two of these is the price of a, a whole new game, right? But I think if you're really into your Sims, it's. I'd probably say it's worth it for the level of detail. Don't forget all these dials and knobs. They all work. Um, as I said, it's a what, it's a 107 page PDF to actually teach you how to fly this thing, which is a lot of reading. Um, but again, if you guys would like to see tutorials, let me know in the comments because we could put some of them together for you. So yeah, I think if you're really into your Sims, it's probably worth it because you are actually getting what you pay for in terms of the detail. We've seen a few things today that even blew my mind, like that toilet, <laughs> which is crazy, right? $27.99 and you get a toilet. Come on, you could do worse. But I think if you just play this game for fun, $27.99 is a little bit steep. So, I'd, I'd, I'd probably say read up on it. And if you think it's for you in terms of you don't think it sounds too uh, overwhelming, then go for it. If you just play this game for fun, a little bit steep, I think, in terms of the price. We can see the reflection on the window there, which looks really, really good. I just love this plane. I just think it looks amazing. It looks so much better when you're up in the air as well, don't it? it you know, in the cockpit. Because you can see a lot of spectacular views from the game itself. Uh, this game is fantastic, isn't it? It really is. I love the trail, by the way, that this aircraft leaves. Amazing. It wouldn't be a James video if we didn't fly over Tokyo. So you knew I had to bring this baby out here to see the views from Tokyo. Um, but before I finish up, I do just want to say, if you are thinking about getting the Concorde... It does have a fully interactive checklist system. If you've ever used the checklist system in any of the aircraft, that will take you through start up. It will take you through an entire flight, actually. So don't worry too much. Don't be too overwhelmed by it. If you really want to give a Concorde a go, you know, I'd never even flown in one. So I really wanted to get it just for that, for the sake of that. You know, if you feel the same way, then I, I, I'd say get it. $27.99 is a little bit steep, but if you can afford it, it's a whole lot of fun. I've been James. This has been Tokyo. That right there has been the Concorde, and we'll see you in the next video. Matane!